Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Do you find Notification Center widgets useful? If not, maybe try this. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So Notification Center widgets are what you see when you click on the time at the top right corner of your Mac screen. When you do that it brings up notifications at the top if there are any and then these widgets below. Now I suspect that a lot of people don't use these at all. and I think one reason is that they do too much. You can have widgets that do all sorts of different things. and That could mean that when you want to do one of these things specifically Notification Center isn't where you go. So if you find you don't use Notification Center widgets maybe instead focus your widgets on one specific task. Something that you do often. Let me give you some examples. Now to change which widget you have click on the time at the top right and then click Edit Widgets. Now you can see a way to edit them. You can remove the ones from the right here by clicking the little minus button at the top left corner. Let's remove all of them. And now let's just add some that focus on one particular thing. For instance if you only like to have the time at the top right corner of your Mac it might be useful to click that time and then see the date. You can do that using Calendar Widgets. In fact one of the calendar widgets right here is just to give you a calendar here with the current day highlighted. I could simply add that. And now perhaps as a companion to that I can go to Clock Widgets and I could add a simple clock. I'm going to use the Clock Widget here as opposed to the City one. And now you get the time and date. I'm going to change the order like that and just make it real simple. Just the time and the date. I'll click Done and that's what widgets look like. So now I can click on the date here and just see a clock and a calendar. And as I mentioned this is handy if you go into System Settings and then go to Control Center here and then scroll down to the menu bar Clock and click Clock Options. Have it only show the time instead of the date. So now you see the time here and anytime you want to see the date you click there and you get the nice clock and the calendar. This is a really small thing for Notification Center widgets to do but it may actually be something that you use instead of just never using the feature. Now alternatively you could have just calendars shown here. So let's edit the widgets again and get rid of the clock and get rid of this small calendar. And instead let's click on Calendar here to just see those. And we can say Choose the Up Next Calendar. And I can actually change that to a medium sized one which will go across or even large to give me this view. So pick which one you want. Let's say this one and let's add it. So now if I click Done this is all I see when I go to Notification Center. Which may be perfect depending upon what you want. You just click the time here and you get to see the date and you get to see upcoming events. Now if you edit widgets and then instead of clicking the minus button click the widget itself you actually get to customize what appears. So instead of mirroring the calendar app and showing exactly the same calendar as you see there you can turn that off. And then you can select specific calendars that you want to see. So for instance this could be one that only shows work events. So I've turned everything else off and this is my work calendar. And now this calendar here just shows work events. So I can just have one single calendar highlighted there. I can make it US Holidays if I want. I can make it my personal calendar. Or I can combine several calendars. But in addition remember you can add more than one of the same exact widget. So this could be my work calendar here. I'm going to add another widget that's exactly the same thing. But this one I'm going to customize by selecting just my personal calendar. So now I get my work calendar and my personal calendar separately. So this is what Notification Center looks like now. And anytime I want to see my upcoming events I don't need to launch the Calendar app. I can simply bring up Notification Center and see these two calendars and what's coming up very clearly. Now you can also use this with Reminders. So let's go to the Reminders widgets here. And there's just one but it has a small, medium, and large size. So let's use the large size and add that. If I click here you can see I can customize which list is shown. So now if I add some things to this Reminders list I can see those items here. Even click on one to go directly to it. And yes if I wanted to I could add multiple Reminders lists. So I could add a second one of the same size that points to a different Reminders list or maybe use the small ones for other lists, range them however I want and I could 
select exactly which list goes with each one even using some of these smart lists here like what's due today. So you can see how you could just use Notification Center as a quick way to view your reminders and stop thinking of it as Notification Center and just start thinking of it as a shortcut to view reminders. And of course you can combine similar things. So for instance you could go and add a calendar widget like say this one here and then a reminders widget like say this one here and arrange them as you like. And if you find you're always launching both reminders and calendar to see what you've got going on today. Well now Notification Center is a way to view both of those very quickly and easily. Here's another idea. Use Notification Center as a way to view stocks. So instead of going to the Stocks app or a website you could go and use one of the widgets here. For instance there's the watch list and you can go to the large watch list, add that and then note you can click on the widget here, choose which watch list to use and this comes from the Stocks app. Choose whether or not you see more details and then Done. And then you see this list here of stocks. So how to set those up is you go into the Stocks app even if you don't plan to use it but instead want to use Notification Center widgets and then you can set up these different watch lists here. There's the default one. You can create a new one and then you can usually Control click or Two Finger click or Right click to edit what is here. Say remove this from the watch list or search for one here. And once you find one you can add it to the watch list with a little plus there. So you can highly customize these watch lists and then use those in your widgets. And if instead of this format another way you may want to do it is to use the individual symbol here. So I could add those and I could add multiple ones of those. Let's remove this large one here. And each one can show a specific symbol. So for instance I'll add four of these like that. Let's leave this one alone. I can click here and I can change it to something else. And then I can click here, change this one to something else. And just continue to add these individual little widgets for each stock so I can see a little chart and information and everything. Now if you're not interested in stocks, you don't have a busy calendar, don't have too many reminders, another thing you can do is just use this for weather. Look at it as a quick way to view the weather and you have several weather widgets here. You've got the small one. You've got the larger one which gives you a forecast for the next few hours. And then you've got the largest one here which also adds the five day forecast. So you can add whichever one you want and have it appear here. So I'll add this one for my location at the top. But I could add more. So I can go to the small one here, add one or two of these. And what I could do with them is I can click on them, change the location from my location to some other place that I care about. Like that. Customize this one as well. And now I've got the forecast for my location plus the current conditions in other places around the world. So I hope you get the general idea. One last one to use here is News. And you can choose the Today widget which will give you a general news summary. But you can also choose a topic and put that there. And you can customize the topic. So for instance, let me choose the large topic here, select that, then I can click on it and I can customize the topic. I can pick a topic but I can get really specific too. Basically have this be a search of the news for a particular thing. So for instance I could type something in and pick say a sports team or a particular publication. So I'll pick a team right here, Done. And then I'll see headlines having to do just with that team. So you can add multiple widgets here with different topics or just have Notification Center be a quick way to view news on a single topic with just a quick click. And another tip here is that you don't have to click on the time to bring up Notification Center. You can go to System Settings, Keyboard and then from there go to Keyboard Shortcuts. And if you look under Mission Control there's actually a way to set a shortcut for Show Notification Center. So you could turn that on Double click here and I'm going to set it to say be F19. And now I can use F19 to easily bring up and dismiss Notification Center. And note that in addition to what you set there, you should be able to use the FN or Globe key on your keyboard and the N key to bring it up or dismiss it as well. So I hope if you haven't been using Notification Center until now, that I hope you try this single purpose idea to perhaps make it useful to you. Thanks for watching.
If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.